she's a legend, no question about that. Shirley MacLaine is here. How does it feel to be a legend, actually? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Honestly. Really? Absolutely. I don't You can't wrap your brain around it. No. All right, so Shirley's traveled all over the world, but for the last 20 years, she says she feels most at peace at her home in New Mexico. Last week, she gave us a private tour, which we are so thrilled. Let's take a look. <laughs> Come on, Tim. <laughs> With breathtaking views from every window, Shirley MacLaine's sprawling adobe-style home is the perfect sanctuary for her and her beloved dog, Terry. I walked into this house exactly like this, not intending to buy a house. And I saw this view, and I sensed there was a stairway there, and I sensed that a dancer died at the top of the stairway, and that she now wanted me to have this house. So I called the person I was dealing with, bought the house without even looking at the rest of it. This is my den, and I just put all my awards in here. I didn't know where else to put them. It's cozy, particularly in the winter. Italian Oscar. I've had a lot of these Golden Globes. I think I have six more, but I don't know where they are. Uh, German Oscar, American Oscar, another Italian Oscar, Emmy. Come, sweetheart. And out here, which I really love, look at this view. This, you see, the whole Continental Divide Mountains. I just think this is extraordinary. I sit out here, I have breakfast here, I have lunch here. I write here sometimes. I watch the UFOs here. <laughs> this is where I cook. I love pasta. Here, come on, baby. Come on upstairs. I'm keeping this house because the stairs keep me in a little bit in shape. Okay, how about this view? And that's where I sleep with Terry. She is my precious one. She goes with me everywhere. We're together 24 seven. Downstairs in the dining room, another bit of Hollywood history. This was the furniture we used in terms of endearment, believe it or not. This is what I used to serve when I was... I loved the scene with Deborah telling me that I was going to be a... I'm going to be a grandmother! How horrible! Why should I? Why should I be happy about being a grandmother? That was good. Danny DeVito was there. Deborah was here. Jeff Daniels was here. Another one of, of um, Aurora's lovers was there. Who was here? I don't know, but Jack Nicholson was next door. <laughs> Wasn't at the table. Shirley also has an 8,000 acre ranch about 45 miles away. I've had several people really witness very, very specific UFOs material, dematerializing, going into the mountain and coming back out and hovering over this house. Shirley's ranch is self-sufficient and totally off the grid. A wind turbine and solar panels provide electricity. I use my heat from the fireplaces. That's how I get my, my heating. I like that feeling. I love the coziness of it. Small greenhouses in her garden provide fresh fruit and vegetables year round. Twenty years ago, Shirley built this labyrinth, a circular stone maze, a tool for meditation and spiritual healing. And all during this walk, you do your meditation focused on what is positive and what you would like to have happen. Face south, where the Indians say the negative resides, bring it up. and imbued it with the frequency. Terry always waits, guarding me from the south. I find that interesting. 